Ian. A teen was killed while jet skiing on Lake Minnetonka Wednesday, and now officials are warning of more dangers on the water ahead of this holiday weekend. As our Rob Olson reports, they say that lakes across the state will be filled with boaters over the weekend, and we all need to pay attention and put down the booze. Well, this is kind of one of those annual traditions, the reminder about boating enforcement for the 4th of July weekend. Expanded enforcement on Minnesota lakes and rivers begins Friday through Monday. And obviously a huge emphasis on cracking down on boating and drinking. There won't be any warnings this weekend. If you're operating a boat under the influence, you'll be arrested and taken to jail. It's called Operation Dry Water, a nationwide effort from Friday through Sunday and in Minnesota involving the DNR, the State Patrol and Sheriff's Departments. The main big thing we're looking for is just general unsafe operation. Keeping an eye out for any violations that could suggest boating while intoxicated. You just start to see a lot of violations at once kind of on these boats where you have someone who's intoxicated and um, that really draws our attention. You're like, oh, they got, you know, three violations going on at once. There's probably something more going on here. Last year, nine of the 16 fatalities, which is more than 56 percent, involved alcohol. On the shore of Lake Minnetonka came the reminder that in Minnesota law, a boating DWI is no different than one while driving and the penalties <laughs> apply to both. As we stand here today, it's very clear as to what the penalty is. If you lose your operating privileges in Minnesota on any motorized device, all the rest of them are off limits while you're revoked. On Minnetonka alone, they expect more than 8,000 boats out on the water. And after last year's more subdued partying due to COVID, expect it'll be back in force this weekend. We think this year is going to be kind of the, the big hurrah. And we're prepared. As for Wednesday's death of a juvenile on a jet ski, they say alcohol was not a factor. But law enforcement point out that accidents like that happen already and worry about what more might happen when you mix busier waters in drinking. Let's go out, get in the water, enjoy ourselves, just be responsible. That's all we're asking. Now, every year on the 4th of July weekend, there will be a number of arrests for boating and drinking. And of course, the ultimate goal here is to make sure there are no injuries and certainly no fatalities on the water. At Lake Minnetonka, Robles, Fox 9.